In the first basic framing video, we covered layout by marking the centers of the rough openings all the way down the wall. You can pre-build these rough openings too while you're waiting for the rest of the wall to get laid out. The rough opening determines the space between the jack studs, which support the header. So the header needs to be the rough opening plus three inches, which is the width of two jack studs. Headers usually have plate stock above and below them for full bearing for the jack studs below and the cripple studs above. To pre-build an opening, begin by nailing the jack studs to the king studs. The height should be specified in the plans. Make sure the bottoms of the studs are flush and then nail them together. Now the header can plop into the pocket and you've got the basics of a window opening. You can also install the bottom sill here because the bottoms will be flushed again but wait on those interior cripple studs until after the bottom plate is attached. A slight variation on this method is to use the jack stud to support both the header and the window sill by cutting the jack stud. This means that the sill is the same length as the header. It also means less lumber and thermal bridging at each window opening, but it may mean more compressive movement in the framing lumber. Either way, make sure the RO is big enough for the window or you might find yourself out of the picture.